Hi, this is Kel from Everlasting Mobility. Today we're visiting Golden Technologies corporate headquarters. And in this video, we're gonna go over the Light Rider three-wheel mobility scooter. It's model number GL111D. So let's get into it. The armrests do flip up on the scooter and you can put the seat down. There's also a storage pouch in the back. In addition to the seat being able to, uh, you can swivel the seat 360 degrees for easy entering or exiting the seat. The armrests are width adjustable. Uh, you can also remove them if you didn't want the armrest on the scooter as well. There's also a universal accessory hitch on the back so you can put different accessories on the back of the scooter. To see what is offered, you can just visit our product page and you can see what accessories you can add to this. This yellow lever is the freewheel lever. So if the, your battery were to die or you had some type of malfunction, you can put the lever into the neutral position. And when you do that, you can push the scooter. However, you can't operate it in this position. So if you were to put the key in and you wanted to operate the scooter, you would have to put it back into the drive position. And when you do that, that's when the electromagnetic brakes are engaged. So once you let off the throttle, the electromagnetic brakes will engage. On the back, these are anti-tip wheels, so this is another safety feature. If you're going up an incline, you don't have to worry about the scooter tipping backwards. There's a lot of additional storage on the basket on underneath the seat, and then of course there's a large storage basket with a handle, so you can pop that off easily and put it right back on. There's also a front headlight that is adjustable, which is great for if you're riding at nighttime. So on the tiller, there is a battery gauge. So each bar on this battery gauge will, uh, each light will disappear as the battery is starting to deplete. Once it reaches to about halfway on this battery gauge, that's when we would recommend to recharge. And if you're good about doing that, you can increase the lifespan of your batteries. That's a great tip that we like to tell our customers as well. There's also a speed control dial. So if you wanted to go to the full maximum speed, you would turn it up to the rabbit. And when you do that, the top speed is around four and a half to five miles per hour. If you wanted to maintain your speed, say for example, you're riding in a store and you're going around tight corners, you're around crowds of people, you might want to turn it down to the lower speed. So you would turn it towards the turtle and that way your top speed would be around two miles per hour. It does come with two keys. There's also a horn, this red button here. On the tiller of this unit, it is a Delta tiller. It has an ambidextrous control, so you can control the scooter with just one hand. So you can accelerate forward and reverse with either hand. Right here is the second charging port, so you can either charge it on the tiller itself, or you can remove the battery, bring the battery inside your home, and you can charge the battery that way. And then when you're finished, you can bring it back out to your scooter, insert the battery, and you can be on your way. This button right here is the headlight, so it's underneath the tiller. It's just a switch here. That's how you turn it on and off. So now to disassemble the scooter, you'd put the seat back down, use this lever on the side, and you lift the seat straight up. Next, you would want to pop off the basket. You simply just put some pressure on the bottom. You can remove that easily. Then you would remove the bottom basket, which is supported by or secured by some magnets. Next, you would remove the battery pack. After that, you would fold the tiller down. And you can see now, right now it's loose, but you have to use the locking mechanism that's on the front of the scooter that's underneath of the headlight. So once you press that in, the tiller will not move and it secures it in place. At this point, you would press the lever on the back to release the front half portion. So you would separate that from the rear axle. So at this point, when it's broken down, the heaviest piece would weigh about the same as a compact mobility scooter's heaviest piece. So there was a lot of thought put into the design of the scooter. Now to reassemble, it's equally as easy. You just make sure the hooks on the front half portion line up with the rear axle, let the hooks drop into place. After that, you would put slide the battery pack back in. After that, you would put up the tiller, secure that in a comfortable angle for you. You'd also wanna make sure that you unlock uh, the tiller so you can steer the unit once it's time to start driving. Then you would put the bottom basket back underneath of where the seat goes pick up the seat, 
make sure that the prong lines up with the hole and you slide it right in there. Just make sure that it's angled correctly so you, it'll slide right in. Flip the seat back up, put the front basket back on the hooks and you're ready to go. So if you're looking for a practical, affordable three-wheel scooter that is easy to break down into pieces, this is a great choice. It does support up to 300 pounds of weight. It is made by Golden Technologies. It's one of the best brands in the mobility industry. They have one of the best warranties in the, in the industry as well, which does include one year of in-home service, as long as it's a warranty approved claim through their mobility department. Uh, they will dispatch a technician to your home to diagnose and resolve that issue. What are you waiting for? Get moving. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-498-2560 or visit us at everlastingmobility.com.